Okay, let me show you how we can find the Laplace transform for the uh, piecewise defined function, okay? Definitely this is um, like piecewise continuous and also like there's no vertical asymptote, okay? Which means there is Laplace transform, okay? So let me show you how you can find it, okay? Here we go. Laplace transform of the function then it's defined by the integral, right? Since like your function is defined in this way, so we can split your integral with two parts, okay? Zero to one is e to the minus st, and we're gonna use this function. The second part is one to infinite e to the minus st, then we're gonna use the second function form, which is zero. Then obviously this part equals zero, okay? Then we can we have to take care of the first part only. It is equal to, um, well, like look at that. That is definitely can be uh, take it, uh, can be found by the integrating by part. Okay, so let's say your u function is t, then du is dt one dt right, and dv is e to the minus st. Then your v function is um, uh, minus one over s e to the minus st. Is that clear? Then by the like integrating by part that is equal to a uv, which is minus one over st, e to the minus st, and minus plus one over s integral, e to the minus st, dt, okay, definitely from zero to one, and this one as well, is that clear? Then now, let me take care the second part, and we're gonna take care the, like, the value, okay? It is equal to um, minus one over st, e to the minus st, and minus one over, S square e to the minus st and let me do like this way. Is that okay? Then we will plug in one first. That is equal to um, plug in to t right. Then it is um, minus one over s e to the minus s minus one over s square and e to the s. Okay, and minus plug in zero. Then like first part since there is t term plug in zero, then this whole thing is zero, right? But second part, e to the zero equal to one, then we have minus one over s square. Does it make sense? Then we can just like, you know, open your parentheses. It is uh, minus one over s, e to the minus s, minus one over s square, e to the minus s plus one over s square. That's it, okay? So let me give another, okay? Number nine. It is similar. We're gonna do the exact same way, okay? So like definitely this one is piecewise continuous function, right? And also like this is, there is no vertical asymptote. We can say there is Laplace transform, okay? So let me do it. Laplace transform of this function is equal to that. Uh, well, okay, let me give you the graph of this one, okay? Zero to one. is one, right? Inclusive and in, not inclusive, right? And K, I don't know where it is, but let's just assume like K is here. Then there is the point at this point. And then like from this point, just zero. This is your function group, okay? Well, think about it. The basically integral is the area under the curve, right? So which means like if you have like just one point here, there's no area. Does it make sense? So even like there's called function value, but for integrating value, integration value, and you don't have to worry about this one, okay? So we're gonna do like just like zero to one for this function and one to infinite with zero. That's enough, okay? So this can be written by this way. From zero to one, your function is e to the minus st and just simply one, right? And the second part is just one to infinite e to the minus st, zero dt, right? And we know this guy is equal to zero. Then it's just like take care of the first part, that'll be fine, okay? It is equal to one over minus s e to the minus st from zero to one, okay? Plug in one in there it is um, one minus one over s e to the minus s and minus plug in zero, which is one, it is um, one over minus s. So your answer is minus one over s e to the minus s plus one over s, okay?